Hey y'all, Ileana Solar Dragon. We're back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable for update day. Um, before I get started, this is going to be a later video because I had some important homework and quiz to do. But other than that, we are good. So today's update is the rest of the Yorvik Wilds. Um, I am going to get all of them on three, all three of my accounts. Um, in fact, I already have the two I want for Ileana. I really should not be spending my star coins. But I'm going to anyway. <laughs> so I want the... Uh, now, I have no clue what any of these coats are called. I wanted this one. Um, yeah, I've already read this. So this is... Uh, Opal. Opal Flame. And I wanted the Grulo. Um, let me see if I can try to figure out what the heck these um, coats are. Because they made up some. Mantle Striped Bay. Which I am... is I'm assuming it's this one. Do they say the coat colors? Mm. No. Oh, I don't have enough for another one. Oh well. I got the one I- Oh, I wanted the Grulo though. This is the one I really wanted. This is probably the most beautiful in my opinion. This one. Oh, this is the one. Um, Mantle Stripe Buckskin, which I assume is this one. Sapphire Blue Roan, which I assume is this one. Sapphire White, which is probably the one I just bought. And Mantle Silver Bay. No, I think this is the Mantle Silver Bay and this one is the Striped Bay. That must be what they are. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, I did not notice. Oops. <laughs> So I can't buy another one for now, but I don't really mind um, because, let's be real, they are going to be staying here. However, what I'm going to do now, we have a special horse that um, was announced that I did not know we were going to be getting. So if we go to Fort Penta... We have a special horse here. This is the Ember Mane, which will be known as Blaze in the Mistfall series, the animated series. Or very look looks very similar. You know, I thought this was black. This is very much purple. <laughs> um, I will not be getting it in game. I will be getting it in the app when it comes out. And then transferring it onto the game once it reaches level 10. I have already made room in my app. <laughs> so that is going to be it for the update. Um, so there are other adventures. So this is the spoiler for next week. The adventures of Wild Woods continue soon. So we're probably going to get more quests in the Wild Woods. And just more stuff to do. Which will be awesome because I need to get that reputation. That is so bothering me. Um, let me see. I think it's right here. Yes. So let me see. You get... I'm just going to do this map on camera because I have nothing else to do while we get to the Hidden Valley. Okay, so 1500 minus 1120 is 380. And you get 175 XP per day as of right now. Divided by 175, that's 2.17. No, I did not do that in my head. I have a calculator in my hand. Because, <laughs> let me tell you, I am bad at... I totally jumped. I am very bad at math. So, in three days, um, I do not have um, work this weekend. So, tomorrow I will do it... Um, that's Thursday... <laughs> Friday, so Saturday, I should be able to do the orienteering for y'all. 
because that should be enough because even if I won't I probably will not record tomorrow because I have a bunch of homework to do um see if I don't record tomorrow I will record Friday um so Friday will be I will be very close probably okay 175 plus two that's not what I wanted 75 times two is 350 I believe nope one five zero zero nope one five zero zero minus one one two zero three eighty so so I will only have 30 um, after Friday which was very frustrating. <laughs> um, anyway, let's continue with Professor Einstein. I simply do not understand what's wrong with my hydro detector, Eliana. There's probably no point in continuing. What could be wrong? I truly don't know. It's incredibly complex vites. But to give you a plain description, we can say that it records all the water within a fixed radius and indicates where there's a certain amount of water. Ice? What's that got to do with anything? There's ice everywhere, Eliana. Ice is water, obviously. What are you asking about ice for? How can I be so stupid? This climate is terrible. The cold is going straight to my head. Huh, can you imagine? I hadn't set the hydro detector to disregard frozen water. Ha! Huh. Well, enough with the jokes. Back to work. Here, now I've recalibrated the hydro detector, and this time I've done it correctly. Now to ignore the frozen water, with, which by any logic should make, make it a piece of cake to find a proper water source. You know what to do, Eliana. Find the location of the water source and drill. Okay. So let's go here. Um, that's not what I wanted. Drill. And we found water. Ha! Huh, I knew it could work. Would work. Now we just need to utilize the water, Eliana. Oh, and I got a new coat. I like my sweater better. Once you've been gathering materials for the horse care facility, I've designed a well that's adapted to this climate. Complete with fan heaters and speakers that play soothing music specially composed for horses. Built with materials that won't require maintenance for hundreds of years. Unfortunately, I could not find a company that would deliver two tons of plutonium here in less than six months. This darn remote ice age valley is causing me all kinds of hassle. Instead, I ordered this all-in-one well construction kit from Jakia. I studied the instructions for hours, and even though it seems to make perfect sense, it's so horrifyingly complex that even I'm unable to actually work out how to begin. Rarely have I been forced to admit that I've been intellectually defeated, but in this case, I give up. We just have to wait six months for the plutonium shipment, Ileana. You want to have a try? No. There's no point, Ileana. You're putting your mental health at risk if you so much as attempt to read the first few lines. Hmm? It can't be that difficult, you say? Well, I say. Try then, Ileana. But... I washed my hands of the whole thing. Do not blame me if your brain explodes. Honestly, putting stuff together is actually pretty fun. I probably should have ridden my horse over there. It's more fun than chemistry, by the way. <laughs> yes, that is the homework I was just doing. It's, no, not fun. Don't get me wrong. I love learning about it. I just, I don't like the actual work involved. <laughs> Because I'll listen to all the stuff involved all day because it's fascinating. I don't know. I am weird. How on earth is that possible? You managed to assemble the well. I've clearly underestimated you, Eliana. Imagine, there's finally an intellectual equal here in the valley for me to communicate with. At last, the spiritual draught here I have ex been exposed to reaches its end. Tell me, dear Eliana, what are your thoughts on the dynamic quantum field theory? You don't know much about it. What do you think about the latest advancements? Advances in seismic relativity. Relativity. Try again. What do you think about the latest advances in seismic relativity linguistics? It doesn't sound especially interesting to you. 
It was probably just luck that was on your side when you managed to build the well, Liliana. Well, back to the desert of my soul. We can get started with the construction of the horse care facility now that we've gathered the necessary materials. Shouldn't we find a simpler name for it, by the way, Eliana? We'll call it, simply, Project HCF-01X. Simple and logical. Start by placing the logs in the sites I've marked out. It shouldn't take longer than 58 seconds. Get a move on so we can continue with the next step. Ooh, I'm almost level 18. Do I need to get off? No, I do not. So that's two, three, and four. Cool. Magnificent. Now we can proceed with the next step of Project HCF-01X. The logs you've erected will, according to my durability calculations, not stand up to the pressures that's Project HCF-01X and will no doubt place upon them. This is why you should assemble these planks, which I so accurately foresaw the necessity of, on the logs in order to reinforce the construction. <laughs> huh? What is that? Am I in a quest I don't know about? No? Weird. Two, three, oh. Where am I? Hmm? Oh. Oh, I need a hammer now. Oops. Did not realize there was a hammer in my inventory. Where is this last one? Nail it in place. <laughs> Sumptuous. We've now arrived at the next stage of Project HCF-01X roof assembly. Within the new frame now constructed, Project HCF-01X is nearing completion, and our next step is to install a roof. My initial idea was to cast a roof of the latest nanomaterials with both in solar cells, but hopes of a modern roof were dashed, as always, by this brutish environment. After weighing all the alternatives against each other, I eventually came to the conclusion that cloth would be that the cloth which the hot air balloon made of would suffice, even if it is the optimal alternative. I've got a piece of the canvas with perfect measurements, so you only need to attach it over the logs. It's an incredibly easy task. I expect to see you back very soon. And, oop, my head's into the cloth. Sublime, now we've arrived at the final step on Project HCF-01X, laying the floor. Project HCF-01X can now be rounded off with one final task, the construction of the floor. Instead of a concrete floor which had an industrial diamond coating which would have held up for millions of years, I have, after sincere and determined consideration, reached the conclusion that the fur branches you collected will have to do. Lay out the branches of flooring, Eliana. And that is up, oh, and now we can take care of our horse. Exquisite. Project ACF 01X has reached completion. I think we've done a good job, Eliana. Let's give ourselves a little applause. That's it. Enough with all this giddiness. We've had a near eternity left before this place can be thought of as an adequate for even the most rudimentary research. According to my calculations, we can almost certainly count on the mail having been delivered by now. Right over and check the mailbox, Eliana. And there's a letter. Two letters, in fact. So were my calculations correct? Was there any mail? Two letters. The chance of that was indeed slight, but not zero. We should be grateful that luck seems to be on our side for once. Well, well, yet another salesman wants to set up shop here at our camp. Hmm. You can sell hay, apples, picnic blankets, that sort of thing. Who on earth wants to buy hay? What rational person would eat hay? Horses, you say? 
Ah, true. Horses do eat hay. Biology isn't my best subject, you see. Well, it is mine. <laughs> well, you've collect. Well, you'll have to collect this person. A hay shop isn't something I expected in my calculations, but I suppose it can't do any harm. The person in question has sent a letter from Verdo and writes that he intends to get here on foot. Mm, the letter was sent several days ago, so it's odd we've yet to meet this person. Write towards Verdo and see if you can find out what happened, Eliana. Here's the letter we've been waiting for, Eliana. Something that always pulls tourists in is food. I usually get by on tin tuna and sodas, but most people aren't as rational as you or I. And happily send a small, spend a small fortune on their food. Anyway, this chap, Edfield, seems to be bouncing off the walls with excitement at the idea of opening a restaurant here. He apparently runs Yorick's most successful guest house, the Wolf Hall Inn. But his entrepreneurial sense, see, sense to see the huge business opportunity and being the first to start up here at our up-and-coming tourist magnet. I honestly believe he's completely insane, Ileana. To run a successful restaurant here is even more impossible than calculating the exact value of pi, but people have achieved the impossible before. Everyone said the universe was going to explode, but I managed to divide by zero anyway, and it seems as, as though the universe is still here. Ileana, before I overload your poor little brain, you should ride over to this Edfield character and see what his intentions are. Great. Um, let's go to the guy in Valdale first. Yeah, I don't like this part of the quest because it opens up the, um, what's it called? Archaeological stuff. I mean, it's fun, inter it's interesting, I just, it takes forever. Really? No. Mm. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I've been sitting here for two full days trying to figure out how I'm going to get down. I don't like elevators, you see. Trond? Is that your name? I probably dare go down in the elevator if I didn't have all this heavy stuff with me. It weighs so much. What if the elevator's overloaded and collapses? You've used the elevator to your horse, you say? Well, I suppose it weighs quite a lot, so that's quite reassuring. But, but, but what if the elevator got all worn out when you've been riding up and down with it with that horse? It may not be built for such strain. Have you ever considered that... What? You can go down with the merchandise in the elevator for me? Well, that would be perfect. Thank you very much. Really? Wow, I did not realize so much time had passed. Okay, back up. Hello again. Are the goods at the bottom of the elevator? Fantastic. Now it's just myself left to get down. Like I said, I don't like elevators. Or, well, don't like is probably putting it a little mildly. I go into full and horrifying panic just from being near an elevator. So I'm sure you'll understand why I got a little bit stuck here. I really tried, but it's never worked out. <clears throat> it's probably best if I just turn around and move to Silverly Village. It's nice and flat there. And there's not an elevator to be seen. You'll help me? Oh, how lovely. Get up on your horse, okay? But, uh, how will we get down if we don't take the elevator? You know a way? Okay, I trust you, but don't ride too close to that elevator.
and follow. Okay. Whew, finally down. It's probably the scariest thing I've ever done. Using an elevator suddenly doesn't feel quite so scary. Oh, and you have a time limit on you. So let's call for pickup. And now let's go to Wolf Hall Inn. And now let's talk to Mr. Edfield. Hey there, Eliana. What can I do for you? Eliana, did Professor Einstein send you? Awesome. The idea is absolutely epic. Opening another restaurant there. Another branch of the Wolf Hall Inn Empire. An incredible roadside hangout where busloads of tourists are going to eat. Stop, eat my culinary masterpiece, and see some safely entertaining entertainment. I'm way too busy to do this myself, so I'm leaving the responsibility to one of my best employees. Our new kitchen's assistant, Igor, is showing tons of interest and has been really eager to advance. He's going to be perfect as our new chef, waiter, bouncer, tour group leader, manager, cabaret artist. Cabaret? No way, Liana. I'm not insane. Of course I won't work just to see him... Set him loose on the job without first seeing what he's made of. He's only been here two days, so there's a chance I best judge him. Even if there's, even if I'm an amazing judge of character. Why don't you chat to him and see if you can find any cracks in his amazing personality? Ugh. And into there. <laughs> dinosaurs sounds delicious. So you're taking me to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur? <laughs> On your glorious horse. I saw it outside. What's its name? Midnight Charm. <laughs> a little salt, a couple hours in the oven, and an apple stuffed into the mouth. What? If I want to eat Midnight Charm? Oh, no, 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 no. Midnight Charm is safe, my sweet child. I'd never do such a thing, I promise. Igor licks his lips and seems to have forgotten that he's starting, staring pretty intensely at Midnight Charm. You decide it's best to speak to Edfield once again. People say that's Andy. I don't know. He wanted to eat Midnight Charm? Are you sure? No, no, let's not be hasty. All geniuses are a little eccentric, and I'm sure you d he didn't mean it seriously. He must have been joking with you. Chefs and cooks, you know, always a little bit special. You don't think he was joking? Uh, well, let's not get all hung up on the details. This seems like one of those problems that isn't really a problem kind of things. Like, imagine if we didn't have a chef at all. That would be a problem. Well, anyway, if you don't think he's up to the job, then we'll just have to test him. Hmm. Try and come up with some way to put his cookery skills to the test. At the same time, giving financial and entertainment skills a trial run. If he doesn't pass the test, I promise we'll find someone else. Do I go back to him? I guess so.
<laughs> Midnight charm, I've missed you. So, Eliana, you want to see proof that I can really make delicious food? Okay, then, I'll make my signature dish, Eliana. I call it Igor's Paradiso Luxury Taste Party Gâteau. You need to help me find some ingredients, Eliana. Eggs, flour, sugar, cream, strawberries. And one secret special magic ingredient, hot dogs. None of those ingredients are here in the pantry, but they're certainly in Mr. Edfield's storage. <laughs> Get them for me, Eliana. Away with you now, Eliana, but you, Midnight Charm, you can stay here. What? I won't eat a Midnight Charm, Eliana, I promise. <laughs> Off you go, Eliana. You really don't trust Igor. Who knows what will end up in the food if he gets to run the restaurant. You think it's best to find some other ingredients in those he asked for, just to make sure the tests don't go as well as they should. So I'd feel to see if I can entertain the guest. <laughs> uh, entertainment isn't exactly my thing, but I can maybe play a little guitar for the guest. Bring my guitar to me, Eliana. You really don't trust Igor. I think it's best to find some other kind of instrument for Igor to use instead of his guitar. Just to make sure he definitely fails the test. You want proof that I can handle finances? <laughs> I swear I'm a financial genius, Eliana. I actually have a degree from the University of Jorvik in Finance. Here, take a look at my purchase certificate. <laughs> take a look over there, Eliana. My ledger shows every single Jorvik shilling I spent on food here at Wolf Hall Inn. Show it to Edfield and he'll see that he doesn't need to worry about finances. If you had a pen, you could add a few extra zeros here and there, just to fiddle with the ledger and make sure Ed is, Edfield is unhappy with Igor's financial skills. Okay, so... Pen. Ledger. Okay, cool. I have the ledger. get everything first and then talk to him after. Rotten egg. There's some stuff in here. Pool ball. Wood glue. Nope. What am I missing? I missed one thing. Huh? Oh. Guitar I found. Is this a didgeridoo? Oh, birchwood horn. Uh, and talcum powder. And where's this last thing? Ah. What is this? Road salt. Come on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Soon you are the joy of tasting the finest food you've ever eaten. That's not a guitar. What is that? Let's see now. Take a step back so I can pre prepare my per Paradiso Luxury Taste Party Gateau. You too, Midnight Charm. We wouldn't want anything to happen to you, and not right now, anyway. There we go, into the oven goes the cake. Ooh. Ah, 
Are you sure Edward will like this? I have never played a birchwood horn before, Eliana. It's not difficult, you say? Edfield loves wind instruments. Hmm, okay then, Eliana. What should I play? Edfield can't get enough of progressive improvised jazz, you say? Okay then, Eliana. That don't sound fun. Voila, Igor's Paradiso luxury taste party could tell. <laughs> Doesn't smell quite like it usually does. Hmm, why don't you try, try some delicious, delicious cake, Eliana? Almost as delicious as barbecued whore. Hmm. Of course, I don't eat horses. You think I'd feel you'd have the honor of tasting the first bite? That's very noble of you, Eliana. <laughs> oh, well, I really hope he likes it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, why does this take forever to load? Oops, oops. <sighs> oh, a ledger. Igor has recorded every single York shilling he spent here at Wolf Hall in magic. What attention to detail he's got. I should read it very carefully, you say. Is that really necessary? Okay, okay, I'll take a closer look. Now let's see here. Two pounds of flour, two hundred York shillings. Hmm. One gallon of milk, 5,000 Yorvik shillings. Okay. One egg, 100,000 Yorvik shillings. Oh my gosh, Ileana, I don't know what to say. The guy is a flaming genius. He truly knows what should be, we should be spending money on. This is 100,000 Yorvik shilling egg must have been truly, something truly incredible. Obviously worth every single shilling. You get what you pay for in this world, Ileana. That's what I always say. Magic, simply magic. Who knew Igor was such a wonderfully gifted musician? He's going to be a runaway hit with the guests of those kind of beautiful melodies, so beautifully gentle. Reminds me of my mama's lullabies. I feel so relaxed and harmonic. Oh, check that out. What a creation. Igor's parody so luxury taste test party could tell. I just have to try it. Hmm. This, this is, this is the greatest cake I've ever eaten. Paradiso indeed. Sweet, like mega sweet. Igor seeks every ex expectation I could have ever had. Eliana, couldn't you take him with you on horseback to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur? No? All right, no worries. I'll arrange transport for him. We just need to meet him there. You just need to meet him there. Go give him the good news, Eliana. Uh, I don't think it's some good news. Ooh, I'm gonna need to end the episode soon. Come on. <laughs> I passed the test, Eliana. Edfield was happy. I knew he would be. So I'll just jump up behind you on Midnight Charm? No. <laughs> and I was looking so looking forward to getting to know Midnight Charm a lot better. Maybe Edfield has arranged for me to have a horse of my own. Perfect. I was starting to get a little hun hungry. Ask Edfield about it. Ooh, I'm so close to level 18. I'm getting back on midnight. What? Igor wants to eat a horse? He's just joking with you, I'm sure. What a guy, eh? It's just awesome that he has such epic hum humor. I got a car to take him to Veildale, so don't worry. Hmm? You don't trust him at all? For real, you mean? Okay, okay, I've got total confidence, Igor, but of course I can try to work something out since it's you, Ileana. Igor is amazing in every way, but he's going to be so busy with the restaurants, it's probably best I send one of my employees along with you both. 
Here's my keychain. Unlock the doors of the sword up there and tell Frank to come here. You don't need to worry. Frank's a diamond guy with a heart of gold. He gets a little bit aggro sometimes. Just give him this chicken leg and he'll be putty in your hands. Sweeter than kitten. I'm so close. Okay. And don't need to dust mount. Frank. 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 Frank seems to be in some kind of distress, or is he just hungry? Chomp. Frank. Frank. Frank? You beckon Frank to follow you. He seems to understand what you mean. Frank. So as long as you're nearby, he'll go wherever you want. Yes, yes, come on, Frank. Not excited to see you at all. Where are you going? But I am so close to level. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm off, Frank. Dude, come on. Oh, he's annoying. What's up? Where are you going? <sighs> Hello, big guy. Ah, oh, Frank, it's been ages. You look great. Lost weight? Frank, my bestest buddy in the whole Yorvik. What do you say to this? How do you fancy being a waiter and wine expert at my new restaurant in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur? Frank! Frank! Sweet. What a team I put together, Eliana. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's the time limit. Um, that means it is the end of the episode. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all not tomorrow, but Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!